Hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've, uh, I've actually been on social media or any of that at all, to be honest. Um, just so as you know, I actually was tested a couple of weeks ago for coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. I was positive. Um, we went through obviously with the medical department and the, what they surmised or where it came from was basically what I'm, I'm considered community based. So it wasn't from overseas because the trip to Dubai was too long away. Those of you who know that I've been away. Um, so yeah, so it was a bit, bit tough, I'll be honest with you. I um, got taken away to a hotel, which is um, in quarantine for 14 days. On the night that I went there, I was actually taken away in an ambulance to the hospital and then gradually gotten worse. And then the second week was torture, I'm not gonna lie. Um, as much as I was telling everybody I was fine, I didn't want anybody to worry. And here I am now, I've been out since last Thursday, today being Monday. So um, I'm good, I'm great, I'm negative, everything's fine. I just wanted to just let you know that uh, that was the reason why I was away. Uh, not something just to brag about, it was just something I needed to get, th I needed to get through, which I did. Uh, a lot of support from family and friends and I appreciate all that. I just want to say great thank you to all those guys, big shout out. Um, you know, and just to, to, to everybody, understand something, it is real. I know it firsthand, I was there, I got it, I was positive, it is different, it is not just the flu, the cough was torture, the breathing and everything was, was, was hard. So just, just stay safe, stay safe, stay fit, keep social distancing, you know, try to keep it as well as, as much as possible. Um, I believe now that I've been out, I haven't been watching the news, it was quite depressing while I was in there, but I believe we're, you know, we, our cases are minimal now, and I think because we are doing what we're doing, um, uh, it's gotten really good. So uh, congratulations to Australia, congratulations to you guys. And um, so yeah, that's it. Just a quick tip, uh, just something to start off with, it was a bit more of a, a, a hello or I'm back. Um, I just wanted to go through a couple things when you are shadow boxing. So what I'm expecting, I guess, is this. You're doing your skipping, you're doing your jumping, you're running it, this and that. These are just things to add to what you're already doing. But, you know, rather than just shadow boxing and forgetting the, 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 the technique that you may have learned in each and every one of your gyms, um, you know, try to pick up on that. Try to, try to make sure that we're there. One of the things I'm gonna work on today is a couple of things. When you're in the mirror, when you're mirroring, so that's the word I don't like to get out too often, but when you're in, looking in the mirror and you're shadow boxing, what I want you to do is realize when you're throwing your shots, what are your arms doing? As in, what, 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 what's he talking about? It's simple geometry. If my elbows are up, or should my hands do one, they go down. It's simple geometry. It is what it is, right? So as soon as my elbows go up, my hands are down. So I'm trying, trying to keep yourself small. You, you'll hear a lot of coaches say in the background or in the corners, make yourself small. So basically, tuck in. Tuck in. Get in that stance that we've been working on. Use the footwork that we've been working on. Get your elbows in. Tuck in nice and tight. You can slide from there. You can, you know, fold, so you're covered, so tuck in there. Also, when you're throwing your punches, try to hide behind them. Mainly try to hide behind your shoulders. So when you throw a jab, you get in behind your shoulder. As you notice, my elbow, to do the twist, doesn't come up till I'm almost fully extended. Why is that? Well, if I do it this way, you're not gonna see it pop up. If I do this first, then throw out. That's telling you what I'm gonna do last Sunday. So keep it nice and tight. So with the one, with the two, you got your twist in, you got your step in, you're twisting. All that comes into effect, everything works. You just don't need to lift your elbows to do it. Also, another one that you want to look for when you're throwing a hook, an uppercut, or a body shot, throw the shots. They might be your favorite shots, that's great. Don't worry about the shot. You're good at it, throw it, that's great, throw the shot. What I want you to look for is that if you're throwing a shot and you're throwing a hook, and this happens, this hand, I'm throwing a left hook. Don't worry about the left hook, focus on my right hand, what happens? All of a sudden I throw in a hook or a body shot or whatever. Forget the shot, right? Watch this. As soon as I throw it, I do this. What can you see? Everything, you can see my whole face. And my covered nose, my defense up, no, I'm open. So if you find a guy that's gonna be able to catch and go with you, you'll often see guys that can go with you, catch and come with you, and you throw a, a hook, they catch that hook and they throw their left hook and you're like this, you're gonna get nailed. So keep your hands up tight. Throw a body shot, tighten it up. I don't want it tightened up, throw a hook. Tighten it up, across. I'm not gonna throw a hook the way you do, I'm not gonna throw a, hook, a great hook at all. It doesn't really matter. I don't care what the shot looks like. Throw your punches the way you wanna throw your punches. What I want you to focus on is this. What is the hand opposite to what's getting thrown doing? Keep it tight guys, make yourself small, throw your hands nice and tight, throw your hook, throw your uppercut, keep your hands tight. If you're gonna turn the body to get more leverage, do so, turn the pinky in, 
Make sure you cover your face at the same time. Look for it in the mirror, self-schooling. The more you see it, when you see it, you're raising your boxing knowledge. So look for it yourself, critique yourself. That's just another tip, it's nothing special. It's not rocket science, it's just boxing. Add to it, add to what you're already doing. And um, I'm gonna sign out, I'm out of breath already because of this thing that's got me, but all is good. Um, stay safe, and I hope to give you more of these tips going forward. All the best.